we are divided because me personally, I'm a bit worried. This is my mate from Moldova, Vadim Shestopalo. We met on student exchange in Denmark. Here's a photo of us at a Red Hot Chili Peppers concert in 2016. Great, great concert. It was unbelievable. You can tell it's 2016 because we were doing the mannequin challenge. Cut to 2023. <laughs> So, let's talk about Russia. Wait, here's some background. Moldova, where Vadim lives, is facing a renewed threat from Russia. The president has even spoken about a Russian plot to overthrow the government, which had many wondering, is Moldova going to be the next Ukraine? Yeah, I think it's very credible. Um, it's, it's mainly credible because uh, for about the last six months or so, there's been a fairly aggressive campaign waged by pro-Russian forces within Moldova, led by an exiled uh, businessman, an oligarch, um, and uh, big protests and so forth about the Moldovan government's position. Yeah, because Ukraine seems to be going really well for Russia. It might seem counterintuitive, but uh, Moscow sees it's in its interests to uh, cause more chaos and instability on the borders of the West. This plays into Putin's deep desire to restore Russia to its former glory, the USSR. Putin, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's a very, very wealthy man, one of the wealthiest men in the world. Um, uh, he's uh, basically got to the point where money is, doesn't mean anything anymore. Uh, what matters is power and what matters is control. So what do Moldovans think? We are divided because me personally, I'm a bit worried. Some others are not worried. They say, yeah, it's all good. Russians all the time trying to interfere. Um, and, you know, we've been worrying about the whole situation since 24th of February because we are a neighboring country with Ukraine where the war is going on. Recently, Russia launched missiles over Moldova and neighboring Romania, which is a member of NATO. We don't have our anti-missile system to block them, to block, uh, to destroy those rockets, missiles. Uh, so we are put in the situation where we are vulnerable. We are worried about it. What can I say? For now, a new pro-Western prime minister has taken office in Moldova promising to defend the country's sovereignty. While the future looks uncertain for Moldova, Vadim and I reminisced on better times at that Red Hot Chili Peppers concert back in 2016. Good times, good times. I really want to go back at, uh, to graduate school and just have these moments again. Oh, no, no, no.